Okay, we're gonna work on a technique called spit bite right now. And spit bite is basically a way to paint acid onto an aqua tinted plate um, so that the acid really only goes in the places that you want it to. It's basically the opposite of stopping out a aqua tint and then throwing it in the acid bath. Instead, in this case, we're just painting the acid where we want it to go. It's difficult to control it. It's hard to know where it's gonna go, but um, it can be a really cool technique. So I'm gonna show you two different ways. The most important things to do is to remember to wear your um, gloves. Always wear our gloves and our goggles anytime we're messing around with the acid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that stuff on. And then we're gonna um, get just a tiny little bit of acid out of the tank. And so I have um, these brushes over here in the corner that are basically only for spit bite. And you have to wrap tape around the metal part of your cheap brush. You only want to use a cheap brush for something like this. Um, or else that acid is just going to go in there and attack that aluminum um, sort of clasp and destroy it really quickly. So the only way these last for very long is if you, uh, if you do that. And so we're going to, we got that tape. I've aqua tinted my plate. So I sprayed a nice solid 50% um, aqua tint on it. And then right here I keep the spit by tray. I try to hold, uh, try to keep that right there. So we're going to go ahead and pull that down, keep it next to the sink here. And we're just going to take just a touch of acid out of the tank. We're going to go ahead and paint this wherever we think we want acid to go. So I want, I want there to look like there's kind of a, a little bit of like a, um, a shadow underneath this character here, this guy who's floating in the air. So I'm just going to paint the acid on there, and you can kind of see that the acid is now turning the plate, the plate basically. Um, it, it's kind of making it dark gray or dark black, and so any place that I want to darken in. In area, I can just paint acid right on there, and it's just going to go in there and bite and sort of make that uh, area a little bit darker than it would have been before. And if you want to, um, you know, control it more, you can you can stop out parts of the plate and then go back in and um, open those up um, and sort of etch back into them with the spit bite. But I'm going to just go ahead and keep moving this around. And the longer that we leave the acid on the plate, the, the darker this is going to get. So just like however long we leave an aqua tint in the acid bath, it's the same thing with spit bite. And so any place that you want to try and darken up, you can go in there and just um, sort of add in some marks. And so I'll get a little more expressive here and uh, add some more shadows in some certain spots. You can splatter it on, you can paint it on there. There's no real um, you know, rules about it. Just the more acid you put on and the longer the acid is on there, the darker the aqua tent's going to be. And the thing about spit bite is it's really, really subtle, so it can be really difficult actually to see it. So you think you're etching a whole bunch, like right now I've had this on there for what, probably, you know, a minute, two minutes, something like that. And I think, oh, it's going to be really, really dark. But it's actually not. It takes forever for spit bite to get kind of black, if you will. If you really want a black, dark spit bite, you have to leave the acid on there for a long time, and then you have to apply the acid multiple times. So in this case, I've just painted the acid, you know, straight on there. Um, but the other thing that you can do is you can get the plate wet. And what this, what this will do is that you can see it's pretty hard edged, like the acid's kind of hitting it, um, you know, and it's sort of uh, like just etching right into that spot. It's going to be a pretty blunt sort of brush stroke mark. If I don't want that, what I can do is I can rinse my plate with just clean water. Can rinse the plate, and then I can just leave that little bit of water on the surface of the plate, and then I can go ahead and just drop the acid back in, and it's going to be that's going to make your marks a little bit more kind of smoky. They're going to look a little bit more kind of like uh, yeah, like smoke or like mist or something like that, which is one of the distinctive things about a spit bite that people generally really kind of tend to enjoy. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint some more acid on here in places that I want it to look darker and um, you know I'm gonna try and spread it out a little bit more and I like to do it this way in my own work I like to kind of make the smoky spit bite kind of look so that it um, it kind of just is a little less easy to control it gives me more kind of accidental effects that I think are really kind of the, one of the great things about etching in particular but um, screen or uh, you know doing spit bite and so I just kind of like to paint it on there I'm going to let this sit for a minute and then I'm going to go ahead and come back in and add some other marks kind of around this character's head here. 
kind of look swirly for a minute and we'll see what those print like. Let me pull that out of there. And the great thing about Spitbite is since it is so subtle, um, you know, it takes me a long time to get much of anything to really show up. I can kind of, um, you know, take my time and see what happens. And it's easy to, uh, you know, burnish and scrape aqua tint tones out if it's just not quite right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for a few minutes and then when we're done I'll show you what the plate looks like. <clears throat> so I've gone ahead and applied my spit bite for quite a while to it. I put four or five different applications on, let it sit there for quite a long time. Um, and try to get it good and dark in certain areas, but it's going to be pretty uncontrolled again. Always make sure that you rinse off the spit bite tray really well with water and then make sure you wash your brushes off with soap and water as well. Don't leave the acid sitting on there, it'll ruin them really quickly. And I put the um, spit bite plate into the vinegar and salt solution just to see, um, just to try to get it, uh, you know, kind of, um, you know, so that it's not so rusty and get the deoxidization off of it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, take it out of this and rinse it in the water. So just rinse it real, real easily with uh, water and see what you got. So if we look at what we have now, we have a plate that's been rusted in a whole bunch of different places, uh, like an aqua tint. Um, in this case, um, there's gonna be layers and layers of kind of smoky tone built up on top of itself. Um, hopefully this area down here is nice and dark where I'm trying to get a, make it look like there's a little bit of a shadow that he's casting. Um, we'll see when I print it. So now really the only way to figure out what happens next is just to go ahead and print this thing and to see what, um, what we've got out of it. So I'll go ahead and cover this up, cover my vinegar and salt solution up, and I'll throw this into the, uh, um, into the, um, oh, what is the super washing soda solution, and we'll, uh, we'll make sure we get all of our aqua tin off of there, and then we'll check it out and see what we got. So. I'll proof it and we'll find out what it looks like.